When after upgrading to INA4 you're getting problems with two hot motors, it's most probably connected with the change D-term filtering. To figure out what's going on, go to the INAV configurator, go to the CLI tab and type get space D-term underscore LPF. We are interested in the first four results and especially the D-term LPF type. Now with INA4 and 4.1 it should be set to PT3 and the D-term LPF2HZ0, that means the second LPF is disabled. And to be honest, the D-term LPF2 type doesn't really matter. But what's more important, confirm that you have the D-term LPF type set to PT3. If you have PT1, change it to PT3 and save the changes. And of course validate that D-term LPF HZ is somewhere in the reasonable range. This of course depends on the type of the drone you are flying and the size of the propeller. The default 110 Hz is perfect for 5 inch propellers, if you have something bigger like for example 7 inch, this value probably should be closer to 90 Hz. With bigger propellers of course it will one more time get slightly lower. If and when the D-term filtering is solved, now let's take a look at the D-gains values in the PID tuning tab. Here check the derivative gains. The default values are 23 and 25 and they are really pretty conservative. Most probably you want to put push those values to 30s, maybe even lower 40s. However, if your gains are much higher than 40, for example 50-60, this might be a problem because the D gain is highly, well, let's say it's very sensitive to any kinds of the vibrations. If you have anything vibrating, then the D term will amplify this vibration fed to the motors and the motors will be getting hot. So check if the values are not too high, usually me in my tunes I'm very rarely going above 4 and I think all my 5 and 7 inches are flying with 30 up to 35 on the D gain. And finally we can check the deter mechanics located in the mechanics tab. Here check the D boost max scale. The default is 1.5 and this is just fine, just conservative. If however you do are getting very hot motors, disable the deter skylink and set it to 1, both on mean and max scale. Then the D gains won't be allowed to dynamically scale depending on your flight condition. And finally, when you did all of that and your motors are still hot, then most probably you have a hardware problem. What kind of the problem? Damaged frame, damaged motors, damaged propellers in general. Most probably your drone, your multi-rotor is just vibrating too much. If you would like to know more about the PID tuning in INAF, check out this video. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and happy flying!